Hi everyone, I have been to Aldi this week for our shopping. I put a little poll on the community tab on YouTube and asked where you would like to see. And most of you voted for Aldi and Lidl and Aldi was the winner. So I went to Aldi this week. I did a click and collect because I was at work and I wanted to just quickly pick it up um, after work. So I didn't have a lot of time. So I did just suck it up and pay the £4.99. So it's quite a big shot because... I do think that Aldi is pretty good value, especially for store cupboardy bits. So I picked up a few of those bins as I was paying the collection charge anyway. So I had a bit of a stock up. And also, I don't know if it's the weather or just that they're getting older, but the boys just seem to be eating and eating and eating at the moment. So I've got a few extra kind of snacky bits and fruit and stuff. So... I will show you what I've got. The price will be on the screen at the end and then I will share with you the meal plan. So just starting here with the fruit and veg, I've got about eight loose bananas there. I've got some of the British strawberries and raspberries. I did order the wonky ones, but they subbed them for these, so that's fine. They look really nice. I love raspberries. Um, there is a pick your own place near us, so we are going to go and pick some strawberries um one of these weekends coming up but at the moment we're just buying them obviously so i've got those jukes there as well say hi juke he's after something got some easy peelers i've got some garlic apples and some granny smith's apples archie keeps saying when can you get some more granny smith's so i've got some there for him the veg i've got three red onions a big bag of the wonky carrots I like to put them in most things, grate them in bolognese and just have carrots and stuff on the side of most things, salad, whatever. So I've got a big bag of those. Got some of the sweet peppers. They were on offer, so they were actually cheaper than the um, ones with the green one in. And I don't really like green peppers, so I went for those ones. And then the salad -y bits, I've got some British tomato collection. On the picture, they had yellow and orange ones in, but I seem to just have red ones, but... I'm sure they'll be tasty anyway. I've got one of these peppery baby leaf salad. So you've got the salad and peppers and tomatoes and stuff in there. And a cucumber. And then I've got some tender stem broccoli as well. And then the other chilled bits, I've got a four pint of blue milk. I've got a smooth orange juice. I've got two of these. My husband likes something kind of chicken and veggie at lunch. So I've got a chicken teriyaki noodle and a chicken katsu curry for him to have. They're £2.49. Um, they look really nice. There's quite a good amount of chicken and veg and stuff in there. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure he'll enjoy those. Got some extra mature cheese. I noticed that this was £1.79 and it's now £2.29. So it's quite a big jump on that. But I do like the extra mature. So I've got that one. I've got some British honey roast ham. And then for meats, I've got some diced chicken breast. Got a bit of a treat for my husband and I. We haven't had kind of a date night dinner for a while. So I've got us some fillet steak. So we've got one each and we're going to have the tender stem broccoli and we were going to have some gratin but it looks like that might have been one of the things that was unavailable so i'll probably do some fondant potato or i might nip out and get some creme fraiche and make my own um but we're going to have steak anyway and then i've got some of this salmon so it's the ginger chili and lime infused salmon I've had a similar one from Tesco and it was really tasty. And then I've got a 750 gram mince, which I'm going to split and do two dinners with that. And then the only other chilled thing I got was some salted caramel cheesecakes for my husband and I to have for pudding when we have our steak. The cupboardy bits, I got quite a lot. So we've finally made our way through most of the cereals. Henry Blessing has been eating all the cereals up. So he wanted some choco hoops. And he's going to be disappointed because he wanted the multi-green dino ones. And they subbed them for these shapes. So he'll be a bit disappointed with those, I think. I'll have to just try and keep my eye out for the dinosaur ones. But we've got those for the cupboard anyway. And then I've got some kidney beans, some baked beans, some peach slices... 
got some marmalade. I really fancied marmalade on toast the other day and I'd run out, so I've got a new one. Got some baby beetroot because I love that with a salad. And then, like I said, I did a bit of a stock up. So I got some more soy sauce, some more sweet chilli sauce, got some paprika and I've got some chilli flakes as well because I'd run out of those. And they're really reasonable, I think they're about 55p, which is good. So I picked those up while I was shopping at Aldi. Got a puree, a passata, a butter chicken. I've said before I like these ones with the seasoning on the top because you fry the chicken in the spices first before you add the sauce. So I like those ones. And they're only 99p. Got two of the golden vegetable rice because I've got some pepperoni to use up. And the boys really like the jambalaya thing where I fry some chicken and pepperoni and mix in this rice. So I've got a couple of those. Got two squashes. So I've got a summer fruits and just a normal orange got some fig rolls i only needed one pack because i did go the other day and pick up a few from the little tesco's near us because we were completely out so there's a few bits in the tin and i just got some fig rolls got the boys some of these oh sorry yawning got the boys some of the strawberry jelly pots just to stick in the fridge and then it's a, it looks a bit like Snack Central over here, but we're going to have a film at the weekend. So I've got some sweet popcorn, got some tortilla chips to go with the chilli I'm going to make because I love a few tortilla chips on the side. And then the boys have been asking for sort of crisps and things for snacks. So Archie likes the steak ones and my husband and I like the spicy ones. And then Henry likes plain and cheese and onion. And then me and my husband will eat the salt and vinegar. So I've got the reached, I've got the variety and the meaty ones. And then the sweeties are actually for myself and another parent in Henry's class have organised an end of term disco for their class. So we're all taking something along for like a buffet. And I've got to take some sweeties. So I've got some of the Marwan stripes some of the joysticks and then some of the mini necks of the little bags of Haribo. So they're for me to take along to the party. Got some peanut munchy bars for my husband and I and also some mini chocolate chip cookies. The bakery bits, I've got two of the 50-50 loaves. These are really good. They've gone up to 65p now instead of 55p, but still a lot cheaper than buying the Hovis ones. So I've got two of those and I'll just stick one in the freezer. Got some crumpets for breakfast. Archie asked for crumpets for a change. Got some garlic naans to go with our curry. Got some hot dog rolls because we've got some barbecue stuff in the freezer. So I'm going to use that up at the weekend. So I just needed to get some hot dog rolls. And I've also got some wraps there to use for fajitas. And then in the freezer, I've just got some codfish fingers for the boys to have when we have salmon. Got my husband one of these Calibre salami flatbreads. And the boys a double pepperoni just for... If at the weekend we fancy just start shoving a pizza in and having it with some salad. And then because it's going to be really hot, I've got lots of ice cream. So I've got some of the mini magnums and you get eight in there. Got some of the ice coolers, which are a bit like Clippos. And you get cola, lemon and lime and orange. And then the boys like the Oreo ice cream. So I got them some of these Aldi version of Oreos, the cooking cream. And you get six in there. So... That was the freezer bits. And then the non-food items, I got some non-bio liquid, got a comfort fabric softener, got some of the Zingy Lime Shower Gel. I got one of these hand washes for the downstairs toilet and it's a rhubarb and rose, which sounds really nice. Got some more shampoo and conditioner. So this is a Mighty one. I just got the shampoo and the conditioner. I've not used that before, but it looks really nice. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, my hair's so short and messy anyway. It doesn't really make a difference. So I've got those. And then the last thing I got was just a big pack of the soft toilet roll, nine rolls in there. Oh, and hiding down there, nearly forgot, is some minty dental sticks for Duke. He's not had the minty ones before, but I thought I'd get them for him to try. 
so that is everything that i got this week like i say a bit of a bigger shop i did spend more but i wanted to stock up on the cupboardy bits while i was at aldi because they are cheaper so i've got like the beetroot and the marmalade and the seasonings and things to stock up and lots of snacky bits as well so the only thing i wanted that they didn't have in stock was the gratin for us to have with our steaks and also I ordered some whipped Greek yogurts for my husband and it said no alternative available. I mean, I'm sure they had other yogurts, but they didn't give me anything. So I may need to pick him some yogurts up. Um, but apart from that, I think pretty much everything was there. So let me know what you think. I know 4 99 is quite a lot for click and collect, but do you think that is worth it if you're going to just save some money at Aldi or would you not pay the click and collect? I just find it easier to go straight from work, shove it in the boot and then drive home. But let me know what you think. But I hope that's been helpful because I know you wanted to see Aldi. I will try and list all the prices down below for you if I've got an electronic copy of the receipt, if that's helpful. And I'll just pop it away and I will share with you the meal plan. Okay, here is our meal plan. So today is Thursday and we're going to have chicken curry with rice and naan breads. Tomorrow, my husband and I are going to have steak, potatoes and broccoli. The boys will probably have pasta. I've got some pasta bake sauce left in the fridge from the other night. So they'll probably have some pasta, I think. Or we've got some corn nuggets left. We've got sausages left. So I'll let them choose. They'll have something easy anyway. And they normally eat in front of the TV on a Friday. And then Saturday, we're going to have pizza and salad. Sunday we've got some barbecue bits left in the freezer so it's going to be really hot so we're going to do a barbecue on Sunday instead of a roast. Monday I'm going to do chilli and rice and we've got the tortilla chips and we'll have some grated cheese with it as well. Tuesday my husband and I will have salmon, potatoes and veg and the boys will have fish fingers, potatoes and veg. And then Wednesday I will use the other half of the mince and do a pasta bolognese. So that's a look at our meal plan. Some really tasty dinners, but um, sort of quick and light for the summer. I do also have some chicken in the freezer and I've bought the um, wraps. So we may swap one of these out and have fajitas and I might freeze the other half of the mince or whatever, but um, we've definitely got enough meals for this week anyway. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing an Aldi shop for a change. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see another Aldi one or Lidl next week. And I'm happy to kind of go wherever people want to see really. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.